Sophia, and we have our, and I'm working on a narwhal project. Some narwhal. I have a narwhal project, and so this is my, these are my icebergs. We use to grow flax for it. Then we have our sand, our clay models, our beads, shell beads. We have our spoon, our color, and our color, our thing, and so we add our color in. So when I put the sand in, it um, add it, it made the color go lighter. Cloudy. Cloudy, and so it's too cloudy that we can't see. We can barely see. Put our sand in a little more. Now that we can see it, we know what we're doing. Okay to use the whole thing. Okay. Let's move it so I can get a different spot. Okay. You want water now? Yeah, so I will be. Able to answer for you? Yeah, from this model looking at it. Why did you add dots? So for this model, it has dots. They are um textured or spotted or something. I forget what they're called. Um they have um they are um what is it called? Textured Mold. um with black spots on the top. I mean, white spots on the top because they're black on the top and white on the bottom. Um, we just ran out of black, so we didn't have more black for the bottom spots, but we did have enough room for the top. So, yes, yeah, that's why they have spots on it. Any other questions you have? No. Okay. Thank you for coming. Anna asking a question. So I probably, I've heard most people ask and like wonder um, with other people like, why do they have a tusk? Well, why do they have that horn? It's not really a horn, it's a tusk. So it comes out of their lower left, no, their lower right, Left jaw, this is out of its lower right jaw because we mislocated it. Um, but we tried our best. Um, and so there, it comes out of their lower left jaw and it actually So now I'll have two. Um, horn tusk. I'm so used to saying horns, but it's tusk. And um, most people think that's where the myth of unicorns came from. And they are called, known f um, for their tusk. And they um, are also known as the unicorns of the sea. Unicorns of the sea. That's where the myth of unicorns came from. And so I put the sand in because the bottom, you need something besides just water at the bottom. We could have done rocks, but it'd be harder to like get the rocks in correctly. So we decided to use sand. Um, and then we will put some of these in. And these are little um, shells that we put, we'll put in. And when they put in, it'll be like shells on the bottom, starfish on the bottom and stuff on the bottom of the floor. I'm putting these in to show what they eat. Um, they do eat clams, they eat fish, they eat starfish, and they eat squid. So I'm trying to just scatter these a lot because you don't want them all in one spot. You want them more scattered? I'm going to try to get some over there. And so, we have those over there. And then we have our, so we have some fish. They're pumpkin fish. They're 
they my, my they have squirrels at the end. But my idea was they eat fish, so why not make them look like a pumpkin fish? Because I just was wanting to make a pumpkin, and so they're tied together because they're. And so we'll put those in. Then we have a starfish. We'll put in, and we'll have an octopus that we will put in. And this one, we're gonna put it in with a spoon because we want it in a certain spot. So when we do that, we can lower it exactly how we want it and gently push it into the sand, just like that. And now we will put our narwhal in. And the idea with the narwhal is that the tail, because we realized foil floats, but clay doesn't. So these were made out of clay, but just clay. This was made out of foil with clay on top, but this part is just, a, just, is just clay. So, uh, yeah, just the tail. And it's supposed to, it's supposed to hold it down so its nose is po po poking out of the water. That's at least our hope. And it works. Um, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in our, um, our icebergs that I'll just scatter. They may go down in and then they pop back up. And so that's why we have some this was gold wax, just carved. You cut it and you carve it. And it works really well. And it actually sounds like glass, but it's really just wax. And that's why I like it, because it's just gold wax. And it flows pretty well. And um, now we have our C in a bottle, and now let's grab my lid, and we'll put the lid on, and it stays on there perfectly, and now you can look at the bottom and see, like, you can go around and see the stuff in the ocean floor, on the ocean floor, and you can see the stuff that floats and the icebergs, and the little horn popping out. We have our narwhal's horn and the ice. Then we have the bottom of the narwhal, and then here we start to have all of the bottom sea stuff come into view. Oop, there's the octopus. Oh, there's the two fish. And there's some more starfish, and we have all of our sea little pen. Last of all, the lid to keep all the water from splashing out. Thanks for watching and learning a little bit about narwhals. And um, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And um, if you have any questions about narwhal, um, leave them in the comments below, and we will get to your, we will answer your questions as soon as we can. Bye. Peace.